Good morning, America. I am your host, Salsa, the host of the How to Do Things show, where we show you how to do things that you otherwise would not know how to do as a normal human being. Today, we have a very special topic, how to college, and we'll be inviting a very important and esteemed guest. This guest is a renowned activist, communist socialist, singer, songwriter, filmmaker, chef, baker, butt shaker. <laughs> I'm very excited to have this guest with us because I think they can teach us how to become better human beings and more importantly, better college students. Please join me in welcoming Salsa. Thank you so much, Salsa, for having me on your show today. It's a dream come true. Of course, I had to take some time out of my day. Uh, I spent about 25 hours a day flexing because gains. Um, anyways, I, I have like a scientifically tested and proven list of things to do if you want to become a better human and more importantly, a better college student. Thank you so much, Salsa, for being on our show today. I'm really excited to hear you impart some wisdom on... I don't know where my eyes would... God. All right, America, let's get down to the nitty gritty facts. So I have... One, two, three, four. I have right now seven, seven steps. Step one, a big part of life is eating, like consuming things, fueling our bodies, and making sure we're performing at top performance. I found that eating takes a lot of time. Why eat when you can flex? This is a little secret. Many people haven't start, tried this yet, but it's basically take everything in, in your site that, that's edible from your cupboards, your fridge, your microwave, shove it all into a blender and turn all your food into sludge. This will increase the efficiency of your life by 10 times. It looks like it came out of a sewer, but it tastes all right, especially if you add mango juice to it. Step two, make a very sad enclosed space in your room to take naps and to hide from people whenever they come nearby. My little space is right under my bed and it's very dark and kind of dank. Oh my God, my laundry is done. A message, a message from our first sponsor. Wow, don't you just hate it when the ceiling falls apart? I believe we were on step two. Yeah, naps. So if you can, find a small place in your room and close it. And sheets, blankets, pillows, make it completely dark and as sad looking as possible. And go there whenever you have time, or even when you don't have time. Just take a nap. Next, if you're living with roommates or sweet mates, try to find some way to communicate how you feel with them. And once you establish that way of communication, don't ever actually be truthful. The only person who actually needs to know how you feel is your third grade science teacher. No one else needs to know how you actually feel about life. Just say you're always down for anything and everything at any moment, whether it be arson, larceny, or grand arsony. Next is one of my favorites. Have art supplies and art all around your living spaces and your desk. Just keep them out so you actually look like an intellectual, but don't ever actually use them. Just waste your money on art supplies that you'll never actually use because it's for the aesthetic, you know? So number, I don't know, uh, number? Five, teachers are always on us about having laptops and screens in class. They're like, oh, according to this study, you don't know, and hush, shut up, professor. You don't know what you're talking about. Who has the degree between us? They're always on to us about having screens in class, how they're always so distracting. I say, why stare at screens when you can just stare at a mirror all the time? Switch out the time you spend staring at a screen, staring at a mirror instead, and just admire how freaking ugly you are. It's humbling, self-reflective, it's entertaining. What, what are the youth watching nowadays? Game of Thrones, Sonic the Hedgehog. Why watch Pokemon when you can just stare at yourself? And last but not least, make really stupid and unorganized YouTube videos instead of doing your homework. So I think that's, that's all of what I, I have. If you follow all these steps all the way out, I guarantee you, you will become a perfect college student. You'll graduate on time and stuff, and you won't have to ever worry about employment and uh, like what you're gonna do after you graduate and like if you're if going to college is really worth it or not and stuff like, stuff like that, you know? So if you just, I'll, I'll leave you with these last words. Drink sludge, take naps, shake your butt, and you will feel way better about being in college. I guarantee it. Thank you so much, Salsa, for coming on our show. It's been a pleasure having you. I think I, I feel like I learned so much. No, no problem, Salsa. I'm very, I'm so glad to always help. I'm here 24/7. Hit up, hit my line if you want to know how to do things. If I'm not flexing, I'll get back to you within three to five business days. And I'm sorry to announce, but this show has been canceled as of now.